What an incredible blessing to have you here today. Brothers and sisters, this is Father Michael, and it's Random Wednesday here at the God Minute. Welcome, and thank you for joining us in prayer today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall shall declare your praise. Psalm 16, Lord, you will show us the path of life. Lord, you will show us the path of life, the path of Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. You yourself who secure my life. Brothers and sisters, on this random Wednesday, it's my privilege to introduce to you Father Bill Kraft. Father Bill is a classmate of mine, and he is the pastor of Holy Cross Parish in Linden, California, in the Diocese of Stockton. I asked him to be our guest speaker today for this random Wednesday. His reflection on the Gospel of Mark, chapter 4, verse 26 to 34, was shared in his parish a few weeks ago and is being shared with us today. Jesus said to the crowds, This is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land and would sleep and rise night and day, and through it all the seed would sprout and grow. He knows not how. Of its own accord the land yields fruit. First the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he yields the sickle at once, for the harvest has come. He said, To what shall I compare the kingdom of God, or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed, that when it has sown in the ground, it is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the sky may dwell in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them as they were able to understand it. Without parables, he did not speak to them, but to his own disciples, he explained everything in private. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. Isn't it sad that we don't hear about Ronald McDonald anymore? You know, we know McDonald's, but we don't remember or hear about Ronald McDonald. We have, you know, our kids... Have no, the young ones have no concept of Ronald McDonald. Now, I remember as a child uh, or going to McDonald's Ron, uh, to meet Ronald McDonald, where you'd get the little puppet, you'd get the Ronald McDonald house, you would get different things, and that was at the, it had the golden arches there on Wilson Way. I think that may have been the first one there. And, and it continued to grow. And so the other thing is, remember when In-N-Out Burger came to town and 
out there on March Lane, and now, you know, they tore down BJ's to build a new In-N-Out Burger across the street from uh, Delta College on Pacific Avenue there, and Yokuts, and, you know, they're going to have another In-N-Out Burger. And you're, you're saying to yourself, where is he going with this? Well, catch a clue. This is where I'm going with it. You know, when they started McDonald's or they started In-N-Out Burger, did they know it was going to happen the way it did? Did they know that Ronald McDonald was going to be such a star when we were growing up and, you know, we would go and see him? It's that same situation is that, you know, many times people start something and without really realizing it, it just keeps growing. I'm going to be doing a, a funeral service, uh, a graveside service for uh, a family that the, the matriarch had passed away. Um, and so this coming Monday, and that family has been in business as a family for over 150 years. Now, when it started in San Francisco, did their, whatever, great-great-grandfather think about the fact that it still would still be in business today? You know, it's, it's that it just happens. And so when we listen to the gospel, it's not about the very fact is that we have to, t in, for Mark, it's not about that we're, we're called to till the field and make sure that the seeds, you know, fall on good ground. That's another, God, that's another parable we'll hear about later. But this seed grows and the man just throws it out there. He goes to bed, he wakes up and not sing, you know, he's got, you know, a field full of wheat or the mustard seed where well, we realize that, you know, they plant it and the man, the farmer didn't even know how gr big it would grow. And that's the gift of faith, is that it's given to us. We're not sure how big it's going to grow, but we have to trust the Lord. And we have to acknowledge that trust that Jesus gives to us to say, you know what, I'll take care of you. I will, I will allow that gift of faith to grow you just do what you're supposed to do, and that means stay present. And that's what he's saying to each and every one, just stay present. Is that, and because those poor apostles and disciples that he had, you know, he had to explain things to them in private because they didn't have a clue. You know what, we have a clue through our own experience when we reflect in life and we see that such as McDonald's or In-N-Out Burger or the Betts family, how that continued to grow. Did they plan it to grow that way? I have no clue, but it's bigger than they ever imagined. And that's what we're called. And that's what we celebrate is that our gift of faith, just by God's love for us, that it grows. And it will continue to grow if we place ourselves in the presence of our Lord. Let us pray together the words that our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, bless us today with the gift of faith. Let it expand and grow beyond our imagining so that we may know, love, and serve you and our brothers and sisters. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks, everybody, for joining us today. And thanks to Father Bill for sharing his um, reflection from his community with us. 
It's always a privilege to hear a, a new voice in our midst. Take good care of yourself and one another, and we'll see you tomorrow.